How to import paths into Flame Painter 4. Now I'm using Illustrator in this example, but you can use other applications, Affinity Designer, Inkscape, and there are also many free applications as well. Now, what I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna create a couple of paths. I'm just gonna create a star, I'm gonna create a spiral, and I'm also gonna create a, a regular path. So there's the actual star. Now, of course, you could create these designs inside Flame Painter itself, but it's really quite much easier, I think, actually to create the vector designs in another application, such as, like I say, Infinity Designer. The key thing is you save it as an SVG file. So then I'm just going to quickly create the, a regular design using the pen tool. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to say so you can actually see them. I'm actually just going to add a stroke and also a width to that color to that so I'm just going to set that to black and just set that to four and likewise the other one now once I've done all that file and save as I want to save it as an SVG file that's a vector format which you can then import into flame painter now start flame painter 4 or obviously if you've got it already open create a new document for it so I'm just going to give that a name and then save Click OK. OK, now Flame Painter 4. Go into Flame Painter 4 and File and Import. And what you can do then, once you've actually imported that, you can see the three designs. You can see the three designs there. And now you can transform them. The transform tool is available. So just resize, you can rotate as well. Just move that around. Click OK, key thing here, click OK. At the bottom of the screen. Now it's got three paths, and what you need to do is vector layers. So click the vector layers option. Don't go for the bitmap, just go for the vectors layers. And now you'll see that three layers have been created, and they've all got the current brush. So you can see the current brush over there and the brushes. If you can't see the brushes, that's the window menu. Now select a layer, and make certain that the Edit Vector Path tool has been selected. You can also manipulate the path within the tool as well. You can see all the points. You can Now, you can change the path. You can change the actual applied brush. Just click on there. And the key thing is always the Edit Vector is always selected while you're doing that. So you can click on there. You can also manipulate the gradient. You can change the size, the blending, opacity, line count, dot size. You can also transform the actual design individually. So I'm just going to the transform tool, rotate that around, manipulate it, move it around. You can also click OK, make sense to do that. It's just a layer, it's a basic layer. So you can actually duplicate the layer via the layer menu and then resize that, move that. Again, click OK. And you can see the design selected there. So again, edit vector is selected. So you've got all the points. You can actually see the points. Again, go to the other, the spiral and select a different brush. And I'm just going to go down there. Click that one. And you can see the design there. And again, let's say all the various settings, the brush creator settings, they, you can change all the settings. So you can create literally thousands of different designs for that brush, that, that path. And you can see another one there applied. Change it to elastic if you've got that available and apply that as well. Right, you can see the different designs that have been created there. Now, obviously, once you've done that, you can then obviously save that file, file save as, and to save it, maybe PSD format, uh, PNG format, and then use it in other applications as well. A few more examples. Change the size, say so change the gradient, change the stops, up to you. All the various things, just click on there for a gradient, a different gradient. You can see the design there. Hope you found this of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Also, please add a comment, that would be appreciated.